Right, this is what you see when you open it up. Uh, we've got the side hooks here. Keep it down. I've been off road, really rough road, and they stood the test of time. I never sleep with it up like this. Obviously, I level it up with the wheel when I'm parked up, and then I put the back stay down there. Um, there. And, but I never sleep with it up there. I set my campsite up and I put this down. Um, but I leave the door open. I leave the door open. Because when this tent's up, the flap of the tent comes out to about here. <laughs> Sorry, bad measurements there. But this is basically how I pack it. And I pack everything down. It hasn't got the 4 kg bottle in it but I normally I, I normally put it in one of these drawers but this is what you get when you unpack it okay this is when you open it this is the, the thing here that goes round this edge here on front and sides and you can feed and you can leave it in there but it just makes this really difficult to close and there's a pin that goes in here here if you want to sleep on it up there fine but I'm telling you when the wind comes um, it's it's not good so i always sleep with it down um yeah okay um what else have i got i'll just pause that so this is this is the awning that what it goes is from inside here down here and it ties on to these there's no shock cord i don't like the idea um and i definitely don't like sleeping with it up uh, all these lights work um, so what I'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll unpack this okay that goes around there it slides out so I put these two top drawers on this was a sleeping space in here for his two kids. Up the front there you can see the 1000 watt um, uh, you know converter, inverter there okay and um, yeah he, he had his kids sleeping in here and uh, I don't have kids and I just thought it was a waste of space for me okay yeah so when this is packed, packed in um, if I'm traveling, I put this floor mat, or the other ones are unpacked, I put this rubber matting, which is round the, I have around the back here, I've, I've got the other ones unpacked, I put it on top, um, just to keep a cushion on everything, alright, so anyway, this is normally what I take away with me, alright, so I have, this is a 12 volt um, solar panel, I think it's about, um, it's either 120 or 240 amp um, solar panel what I do is I plug it into either this one if it's a sunny day and everything's up um, or this one here off the front of the solar panel here and it doubles my charging capacity like I said that's the um, inverter there the tape on top just to keep the dust out of everything okay and the you won't be able to read that but I'll do this the um there's the uh, sorry modifier for the um uh solar okay and um so this is basically what it looks like and this is my solar portable solar charger i just jack it in sorry i have to get this out i'm doing all this one-handed i just normally jack this in sorry hang on so the other set I have of these, I spread around the back here when the tent's up to walk on. Keeps anything dry that you want to store under there. And um, this is the this is the rear support. So when the back of the tent's up, this goes up there and holds it out, nice and rigid. And look, I've been in some real big winds with this down. The, the first night I had big wind and it was up, I did not like sleeping in it up, it's too high. Even with the back support down and the front wheel down, uh, and I'm talking, it was pretty bad wind. Um, 
so the next day I put it down and that's how I sleep in this now. So I put these two drawers in here. Okay. You now on heavy duty runners. These are just boxes I keep with the stuff in them here. Bit of fishing gear in that one. Oh, hang on. Bit of, bit of fishing gear in that one. This is a board I use. I set up a table. So this, this is my washing area here. I throw my dirty stuff in here. I use this to wash stuff. Oh, these are the pins that go in there if you want to pin this up and sleep up, up high in it. Up, up to whoever buys it to do that. This is what I use for a washing bucket. What I had in, in here was a, a big, a small stainless steel full length. It's probably still in the video or the main video. Uh, full length um, sink. And all the storage underneath was a waste. So this is what I do. I set up my table chairs, everything I want to do, um, and uh, I put everything out, um, including my fridge and chili bins and everything else. I put them out and get ready, and then I close this back down again. But there's the, uh, this is uh, some camping gear here. Some of the stuff will go with it because I'm on a knee brace now waiting for an operation, and uh, I can't get out as like I used to, but I'll just put that back in there. Oh, hang on, I'll just show you this up here first. Hang on. So, you can plug in the, uh, that's an Anderson connection there. You can plug in the, um, you can plug in the uh, your external power. Uh, that's storage under there. And under here, oops, sorry about this. Under here is the battery and all the connections to the battery uh, there's the inverter I'll go there like this there's the 12 volt connector there and um, I don't think I'll just turn that on 11.4 in the battery there okay and I'll put this back down I like to keep it tidy there's the battery battery is brand new I'm very confident it's a 120 amp hour deep cycle battery um, but without taking it out, I can't, it's either 120 or 240, I just can't remember, so, um, yeah, but anyway, more storage under there, more storage under there, let me put this back down, there like that, let me move this, hang on, 240 volt outlet there, and you can use the one I always plug directly into there, if I'm charging my laptop, and there's USB outlets up in the tent when it's closed down, and storage down there okay so and storage there so there's plenty of storage in there um, diesel container there um, what I'll do hang on fuse panel there there's your um, solar I forget the name of it okay there's all the power on and off there I'll show you that in a minute for the lights and every all the lights work there's lights here on the other side internal in here and in the tent okay now um what am i doing oh these are all heavy duty sliders okay and uh treated wood i'm gonna close this back up now this one is a little bit loose so i'm just gonna hold that there hang on yeah, that drawer just slides out if the vehicle's not level when it's not level. Okay, down here, more storage. This uh, awning here uh, goes zips onto the tent if and it comes out here, out here at the back, if the tent's up. Otherwise, it doesn't fit. And again, you might want to put it up during the day. Well, you might want to do whatever you want with it. It's just not up to me. Tire repair kit because uh, there's no spare. Um, few bits and pieces here for the um, right. this is here is okay so under here I slide 20 litres of water in there and slam it closed or well, not slam it closed but push it closed this is a utility drawer here you could change this and make this into a, a long drawer it's up to you there's plenty of storage in there um, yeah, you know, general stuff in here, cutting boards, rubbish board, rubbish bags, etc. But I do store 20 litres of fresh water in there, keeps it out of the sun. Okay, 
and I said that there's the thing down there, the rear support. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I can tell you. Um, let me just pour. So, this here's the water pump, and oh, I can't open that. Hang on, can't open that without turning the pair off. Really get this out because it's a bit difficult to put away. But uh, water pumps there, there's a switch in there. Turn that on, and if there's water in the tank, yeah, there's not. There's no water in the front tank, okay. And it, it will stop once the pressure builds up, so you can leave it on and 100%. I've turned the water off, oops, sorry, here, and I bet there's no water in there. Let's give that another go. Oh yeah, there is, that, that's the, okay. And when it builds up pressure, it stops. But if there's an air bubble in there, it does tend to keep pumping until the air bubble's gone. So I normally drain this before I leave. And make sure the fresh water is coming through, but there's very little water in the tank. Now, um, you can fit this to a portable share. It's got about a 12 foot uh, lead on it from memory, but you can fit this to a um, portable share. I'm just clicking it off there, standard hose fitting. I'll put it, so I'll put this away. And if there's enough water in the tank, it should build up its pressure and turn off. But I'm pretty sure that tank's empty. We're very close to it. Okay, um, yep, USB here, okay, there, alright. Um, I always turn this off here and down there, okay, so I turn it off there, but I know there's no water in the tank, and I turn it off here. Okay, there. I'm going to turn it off here. Now, I haven't marked these lights. Uh, which is the lights in here. Um, there we go. So lights there, let me see. So there. Yeah, I'm just unsure which of the lights. There's another voltmeter there. There's a 12 volt socket there. And there is USB there. And there's USB up in the tent area. Um, what can I tell you? I'm going to turn all that off. And that's the. Oh shit, just hit my head. Um, okay. Right, I'm going to pause this. This is a long video. So when I'm ready to pack things down um, I just put it back the way I bought it out um, I stack things pretty carefully um, make sure that everything's sort of as flat as it can be this looks on here um, yeah, and just put things away I've plugged my I've had my laptop I charge my laptop off this um, during the day um, and it normally lasts through the night if I'm watching a movie or something upstairs in the tent. Um, and if I'm if I've got the the solar panel out and um, got my other one plugged in, I can just use the laptop all day off the batteries. I mean, it just doesn't just doesn't phase it. It puts in more amperage than than it needs. And also, I run um, I've got the the power outlet in my car as well. Um, what else was there? So I either stack my four, it depends on what I'm taking away, you know, sometimes I've got a bit of fishing gear with me. I either stack my, or lay down, sorry, my 4kg bottle in here, or I stack it in here and wedge some stuff around it like that. I'll pack it in that, around the edge of it, and when the roof comes down, I make sure the roof just touches on everything nicely, and it's locked in there, and then of course I lock it down with these. Um... 
I drain the water when I get home. 100% um, never leave water in there. Um, and I try and flush it. Um, I try and flush it before I um, go somewhere. And it's locked on there so nobody can get into it. Um, let me know what you need in the way of camping gear. Uh, it's going to go with all these plastic bins. Um, a lot of the tools, a lot of the, uh, the you know, the, the utility tools, the breadboard, except this breadboard here, but the other breadboards, um, the, the fuel tank, the water tank over there. Um, I think that's a 20 litre in that one over there. I put a 20 litre under the cupboards there, and that's 50 or 60. Um, and I use the water I take with me um, for drinking. And that's what I use for washing, showering, washing, if you want to do, do that. So this has been sitting outside. Uh, I, I, when I set it outside, um, it, I jack this up on a tilt. Um, no water gets inside here. It is perfectly dry inside. And any water channels the way around here and out the back. Um, and it's been, we've had a lot of rain down here in the last... Uh, few weeks it's been outside it sits outside all the time um, this is how I normally pack it and what I try and do it so when the roof comes down it gently touches on this and keeps it in, in, in sync there so what I'm going to do is bring it down it never comes down level ever comes down level and I'll bring it down and it does stop when it comes down so this is it coming down I just walk around and check things are in you know I don't want them hitting on a corner don't want, the, don't want these hanging out. Um, if I'm traveling this stuff on top of this to keep it all sitting there. But this time I'm just uh, packing it up. So you'll see it's coming down on a bit of an angle. Um, I spoke to a sparky friend of mine. He, he thinks it's because different levels of uh, power is getting delivered to the, um, the, the motor drives. So... And this will stop once it comes down. I always like to turn it off. There you go. You can see the difference on this side. But it'll just keep going down. It seals beautifully. Rated for 750 kilos. And I think that's sitting around about 380. With that gear in it. Now you can see it's coming down. There you go, nice and even. The other side's still coming down, there's one motor still working. There you go. I come back round here, I turn this off always. Then I turn the power off when I'm, when I'm not using it. This stays on all day if I'm using it. Turn the power off, I put this on, and then I go around and lock all these down. And you seriously need to put these in. Uh, going over windy tracks or anything, um, you definitely don't want movement, okay? And I think there's a video of the roof up. Um, yeah. Um, I, I've taken, there was a, um, I haven't finished that yet. Um, I've taken the, um, the sunshade off, which is to come along here, simply because I don't leave the top up. I get set up in my tent and I was going to put it on my ute, on my up there on my ute. I was going to put it on there. Uh, it gives you the extra height, and um, during the day, and if you're only out in your ute somewhere, you can just use that as well. So look, this is a long video. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to upload it, and I'm going to send you a link. Um, it won't be. Yeah, it's not registered. No, it is registered, but it's not warranted. And I'll try and get one next week. Otherwise, I'm just going to tow it up and hope I don't get caught. Oh, you look at the video and you tell me if you want um, me to bring it up. I'm, I'm coming up anyway next weekend. At the, well, no, I'll confirm it next um, next um, Wednesday. So here we go. You don't even know it's on the back of the vehicle. It tows brilliantly. It goes over bumps and everything else brilliantly when you're going off-road. Um, yeah, there we go.